Welcome to Gas Up the Pacer. I'm Armando. That's Lou. And this, this is our, we're getting into our playoff predictions, but we have, we have to go into, we have to review the regular season. Your goal was 145 wins. You didn't quite get there for the season. Uh, but last week you went seven and eight. That's what killed you. I went eight and seven. One of the rare weeks that I actually beat you in the picks. So the the clown show known as me ended the season on, on a good on a good note. Uh, but for the season, you ended up 142, 123, and four. I ended up 114, 151, and four. Uh, not a good year for me. We were just talking about it the other day. Um, I remember leading up to, I think it was like last season, I think I finished at 500. Uh, yeah, you was, was right at 500. It was right around there. So it wasn't horrible. wasn't great. Uh, but leading up to that, I was killing it. And then I went to the 500 year cause it, I blamed it on COVID. I'm going to blame this one, this horrible mess of a pick season. I'm blaming it on COVID too. <laughs> so COVID COVID is two and zero oh against me. <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah. That it, it was my, my regular season was abysmal. It was awful. It, yeah. The wheels fell off the bus quick. <sighs> yeah. The wheels on this bus did not go round and round. I mean, <laughs> you know, we were probably three weeks in and you were already at like 20 games below 500. It was, it fell did, off quick. Yeah, it uh and then you know you you have those couple of weeks where it's like okay, you're a couple games above 500. Okay, we get one more solid week and we're right back in the race and then you get a a, a 4 and 10. <laughs> and it's like, damn. So I, I need to uh I need to redeem myself in the playoffs. We're going to hit the reset button and we're going to do where I usually get every game wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think trust the regular season. Then I, I think during the during the playoffs last season, I think I did really well after going 500. So we'll see Dude, if I, I can. I think I was like one in six to start the playoffs. <laughs> it was brutal. Well, let's see. Let's see how <laughs> we do and how we fare for this playoff season. Because I looked at these games, man. And again, I have the same feeling looking at these games that I did looking at the regular season games. I'm like. I don't know. I guess we'll just throw a dart and see what happens. Um, I did. I did as much uh, research as I could as far as like who's playing, who's not playing, who does anybody got COVID? Somebody on the COVID list? But not yet. I'm sure somebody will be I'm, on it though. I'm sure somebody will. I, I've I've made my picks. My pinks. My picks are in ink. So there's no changing them at this point. I'm just rocking with these moving forward. But. Let's let's start off the playoff week, and uh, we'll start with the Raiders at the Bengals. The Bengals are minus five and a half. I'm going with the Bengals here. I I like the Raiders. I I, I like what the Raiders are doing. Um, I just don't see the the, the Raiders are too inconsistent for me. Oh yeah. Um. So that that's why I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take. Uh, Joey Dimes and Jamar Chase, and I Mixing. think they're going to have a yeah they're going to they're going to have a they're going to have a good game. They just they just got a better team all around, and and, and they've gotten hot at the right time too. Um, and yeah. they're scoring points. I don't think the Raiders can keep up scoring the points. That's going to be one of the biggest issues that they have. And then um, their, their their inconsistency is going to kill them. You know that that game they had to get into the playoffs should have never came down to that. The situation it came to, they were blowing them out, yep. you know, at home and let them back in the game. So they're just too inconsistent. And the Bengals are rocking right now. <clears throat> this is the team that nobody wants to play in the playoffs. I don't uh, care who I don't care who it is. They can tell me the Chiefs. I say the Bills are going to win the whole thing. None of those teams want to see Cincinnati right now because they're scoring too many points. Yep. 
Yep, a hundred percent agree with you. So I'm assuming you're taking the Bengals in this one. Oh yeah, taking the Bengals. Right. You're taking the Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals. The next game is the Patriots at the Bills. The Bills are minus four. I think the the Patriots season ends here. The Bills win this one outright, and I think they win this by a touchdown or more. Yeah, I'm taking the Bills. I mean, obviously, I'm taking the Bills. You know, yep. only question is if I was going to pick the Patriots to cover the spread, but it's going to be butthole cold in that stadium. Like, they're talking like four degrees. I'm like, come on, man. Who wants to play in that? <laughs> Nobody. Okay. Now you know. Now you know why I moved from that part of the country into Ohio, into Central Ohio, because at least it's not four in Central Ohio. It yeah. was like it might be like twenty. So you know, we got to. I, I moved sixteen degrees warmer, and then that's another reason why I moved down here. Ain't nobody got time for four degrees. I am sorry. There's there's no way. No, no one should have to live in that. No. Matter of fact, no one does have to live in it. Everybody chooses to. If you live in this shit, you choose to. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, I'm I'm taking the Bills in this one. Um, I think they learned from the first game that they uh, that they played in, in yeah. the in the blizzard <laughs> in Buffalo. Yeah, in the windstorm. Um I think they learned from it. The only question I have for Buffalo. And you and I talked about this on the phone. Brian Dayball, the offensive coordinator, that whole offense runs through Josh Allen. Yeah. And, it, and it's different how when you say, like, oh, this offensive coordinator, the, the offense runs through Tom Brady. No, that just means that Tom Brady is the captain of that offense, and he's he's taking him down the field. He's throwing the ball. He's handing the ball off. Yeah. The, when when I say that he the, the, the offense runs through Josh Allen, I mean, he's the quarterback, he's the running back, he's the fullback. It, I think he got two receptions on the year. It, <laughs> do do it, everything for them. I'm just concerned that it, in a, in a, especially in a cold weather game, you're going to get your dude hurt. That's that's all I'm concerned about. I don't I don't think it'll happen. I think you know Josh Allen. People said the same thing about Roethlisberger early in his yeah. career. I think he'll be fine. Uh, but I think the I think the Bills pulled this one out by like I said by at least a touchdown or more. But yeah, keep your eye, I mean, on, think, keep your yeah, eye on Josh Allen. It is hard to pick against Belichick, but the, they just <clears throat> they're just not the most talented team, and that, that and they've won in those situations before. But this gap is pretty significant. The yeah. where the talent gap here, and then you know the Bills came in all high and mighty. Hell, I was picking them, still picking them to win the Super Bowl, but. That you know the Patriots showed them. Oh, well, wait a minute! Now y'all not all that, and they got. I think they got their attention. You know, so I think the Bills end up pulling away from them. Pulling away from them late. The next game is the Eagles at the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are minus eight and a half. I love the Eagles. I, I think the Eagles are a good team, but I just don't think they got the horses against the Buccaneers. Man, I'm taking the that, Buccaneers. In this yeah, game. I'm taking the Buck. This was the last game I picked. And I picked it right before we started the show because I like the way the Eagles play. They play the way you have to play to beat the Buccaneers, which yeah. is keep Tom Brady off the field. I mean, that's a kind of an obvious statement. Let's yeah. keep, okay, Pittsburgh, run the ball and keep Mahomes off the field. But at the end of the day, the way that the Eagles are prone to turn that damn ball over and they turn it over and give him a short field, they're going to get blown away. Yes. If they don't turn the ball over, I think they cover the spread, but I'm I'm just not picking against the Bucks in the first game at home. So I'm gonna go with the yep. Bucks. But if the Eagles don't turn this thing, turn this ball over, this game is gonna be, you know, a 24-17 game, a 24-23 game. This, I think it's yep. gonna be close. Yeah. But I've seen them play a lot because that's Trey's team and they constantly turn the damn ball over. <laughs> well, and they're and they're also a young team, too. Yeah, they come you know, in. Uh, yeah. Some, I mean, you got Kelsey. Kelsey, uh, you know, can can calm the ship and right the ship. But you're talking about uh, first or second year coach. I think it's a rookie coach. You yeah. know, second year quarterback. Everybody. I mean, they got some young kids. But yeah. well, you know, they have they have young players at key positions. Yeah, yeah. quarterback, namely the quarterback. <laughs> yes. So that's that's, that's, that's going to be hard to overcome. 
that's why I'm taking the Bucks in this one. I, yeah, I think I'll take that, the Bucks because I think the Eagles will turn the ball over. The next game is the 49ers at the Cowboys. The Cowboys are minus three. The 49ers have looked really good lately. They and, have a good team. And much like I said about the Raiders, the Cowboys have been inconsistent. It's either they're scoring 56 or they're scoring Six. three. Like, it's just, it's, it, they've been too inconsistent for me. I do think that the Cowboys win this game, but I think it's going to be close. If not, the 49ers win this one straight out. Yeah, I, I, I'm going with the Niners, and I don't even need the three. Uh, I think they win the game. I, I think I think the 49ers have a very good chance of winning this game. Um, I do think it'll be close. <laughs> Let me say this. My, my pick will be just as inconsistent as the Cowboys. I think it's either going to be close and the Cowboys win, or if it gets out of hand, I think the 49ers run away with it. I mean, this, I mean, the Cowboys and the Buccaneers both are stumbling into the playoffs, you know, yep. but at least the Buccaneers are doing it on the back of some wins. The Cowboys, yeah, they put up all those points. That was against the Eagles' backups. I mean, the Eagles didn't yep. play anybody. But the 49ers are coming to this thing. They're looking good coming into yeah. this thing. So, uh, I mean, I'm going with the Niners. Who, who are you going with? I'm going with the 49ers, too. And I love their offensive coordinator. The 49ers offensive coordinator is fantastic. So, I'm, I'm going with him. I, he knows how to get the ball into, into the big man's hands. Get it to Debo, grown man, Debo. And, and you win this game. So it's, it's going to be good. The next game is the Steelers at the Chiefs. The Chiefs are minus 12 and a half. half. See how they doing, my boys. Oh, yeah, right, first off, I'm taking the Steelers. First of all, <laughs> let's get that shit out the way. Yeah, about 12 and a half. Who the hell they think they talking to? Who the hell okay. they think they dealing with? OK, you're, t- you're taking the Steelers in this one. Um, ben came out and said he's like, I don't know. What are we? 20 point? Dogs in this. He's like, we're just going to go out and have fun. Well, you know what? Go out and have fun, Ben, because I'm taking the Chiefs to cover the 12 and a half. This is when the Chiefs, because I know the Chiefs have been inconsistent this year. They've, they've had some issues on offense. Um, Tyreek Hill has probably gone, what, five weeks without getting any significant targets or whatever. Yeah, he's, he's still hurt. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think... I think the Chiefs come in here, and this is where they start their run. I mean, the, the Chiefs very well are most likely going to win the game. Yes. But I don't see them blowing them out because they blew them out the first time. And I just know my football team. They, Mike Thomas said they beat us so de- decisively last time, none of that stuff even matters. And somebody asked him something else. He said, I said they blew us out the last time. That ain't this time. I said, my man, here we go. We if nothing else, we're gonna start a fight. I, <laughs> well, hey, we can win the game, we start a fight. I, I well, think you, you guys might win the fight, but you ain't winning the game. Um, I do hey, think listen, I, I do we think got the a Chiefs, better chance to win this game than 18 other teams do this week. A hundred percent. You so guys we, will win. They you guys will win. Spread. Yeah, you guys will win this game before the Dolphins win this game. So <laughs> You're, picking on the Dolphins for you, man. At least I picked on all eighteen teams. You guys, you guys are good, um, but yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs. I think they went by like thirteen. Yeah, I think the I think Pittsburgh keeps it surprisingly close. Um, they turned the ball over twice and gave them short field last time, yeah. and, and that and then the route was on. You know, they can't turn the ball over. Ben can't turn the ball over. And they're going to have to get a couple turnovers to, to to win the game. They're going to have to get, I would say, three turnovers to, to, to win the game. Yeah. I don't think that happens, you know, but I think they cover the spread. I don't think they go in there and get boat raced again. I'll be shocked if they do. I just hope that for Ben's last playoff game, it doesn't turn out like Dan Marino's last playoff game. Oh, 61-3? Uh, 62. 62. 62 to 7, I think. Oh, was it 7? 62-7? Something like Ugh. that. Um, I remember yeah, that, that was in Jacksonville, wasn't it? That, yep, that was that was. I had a little tear. I had a little tear <laughs> watching Marino walk off the field that day. 
Uh, but yeah, let's go to the last game. The Cardinals at the Rams. The Rams are minus four. I am taking the Rams all day long in this. The Rams, um, the Rams are built for the postseason. They they have they, they went bought, all in. They they bought some players. They traded for some players. Um, they they pushed their chips to the middle of the table. They they got this roster and put this roster together for the postseason. They're they're Super Bowl or bust here. Um, and, and they really they really are Super Bowl or bust. Yep. So and it's gonna I, bust when they get the Green Bay in that championship game. It could. It could. That's, but, that's, when, it's all, that's when it's all going to fall apart for them. But if but they the, don't play Green Bay in the second round, yeah. But the the Cardinals like seem the like they're round. the Cardinals seem like they're limping into the playoffs too. Um, they are, but I'm taking the Cardinals in this game because it's the third time they're playing each other, and I think they split yeah. the games this year. But it's just going to be a close game. And four points, I'm like, I think the Rams will win it. But I, actually, I think the game will probably push. This is a 28-24 game, something probably. like that. Yeah, I can see it pushing. But so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the points. There's there's three games this week that it's the Patriots and Bills, the 49ers and the Cowboys, and the Cardinals and Rams that have the ability to push all three. Oh, yeah. of them. Um, well, if we, if we can go three zero and three, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> but well, our last two picks are different. Yes, 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 they are. So, so we got well, something different on the docket this week. But exactly, I just like the. Uh, I'm t- taking the Steelers because I'm a homer, and I and I like the points in that third game. I'm like it's the it's the you know third time they're playing. They know each other. The Cardinals give them fits every single time they play them. Yeah, but I just think the Rams will do enough at home to win it close. It could yeah. come down to a last second field goal or something like that, but I'll take the four points. All right. Yeah. And I'm taking the Rams. I'm laying down the four, but this is our this is our first week. We're zero and zero. Throw away the records. Throw away your awesome record, my horrible record. <laughs> we're we're zero and zero going into the playoffs. And uh let's let's see how we fare through through the Super Bowl. Dude, you got some pretty good matchups if all if all your teams Excuse me. If all your teams win, you yes. got you. You basically putting the Bengals in the AFC Championship game. Yes, because they, they beat the Titans. Cincinnati oh, yeah. is going to the AFC Championship game. Yes, a hundred percent. How crazy is that? I know, right? They were there. Who's going to stop them from getting there? The only thing that only thing that can stop them is if the Steelers somehow beat the Chiefs. So guess what? The Bengals are going to the AFC Championship game. I I have my if if I had to make my you know out on a limb it's it, it's not a very thin limb um, I, I would say the Bengals have the best shot in the AFC right now to make the Super Bowl. They have the easiest road. They have yes. the Raiders, then the Titans. Yep. See, I mean, the Bills got to deal with the Patriots, and that's not going to be easy. And then they got to deal with the Chiefs. Yep, and obviously Pittsburgh being the seven has the toughest road. I mean, you'd have to beat the Chiefs, then you have to beat the Titans, then you have yep. to beat the Bills or the Bengals who blew you out twice. So I mean, they did that ain't gonna happen. But no. Cincinnati drew the the easiest number one seed that they could have got. Yep, you know because Titans just gonna try to run the ball nine hundred times in the game. Yep, but they got to beat the Raiders first though, so I don't want to crown them yet. No. Nope. But <clears throat> if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But yeah, that's uh, that's all I got for the for these picks. That's good it. Luck, good luck to you. Do you have anything else for the people? No. Good luck, peoples. All, <laughs> peoples. all right. See if I can actually win a playoff game this year. Okay. <laughs> well, on that note, for Lou, I'm Armando. This is Gas Up the Pacer. And this is our weekly NFL, now I guess, playoff edition of the Picks Against the Spread. Yeah.